Hey everybody, Master Adam Grogan here with the USBA WBA. We are in Coburg, Ontario, Canada today for the Ontario Breaking Championships 2018. And this is going to be an exciting day. We actually have two world record attempts that are going to be happening today. Right now I'm joined by... Amber Smelt, Ocean Lothian. And they are going to be doing a team world record attempt, correct? Yes. How old are you guys? I'm 13. I'm 14. So this is going to be a junior world record attempt. Now, Amber, this isn't your first world record, is it? No, I did one with my parents. And what was that one? That was a team world record. It was three people breaking piles of five for my parents, non-spaced, and piles of three for me. And it was the fastest time. That is awesome. That was a few years ago. So now you've kind of had an idea for a new one. You got a new partner. We're going to do a, a junior one. How are you feeling about this? I'm excited for it and hopeful that we break them all. So what record are we doing today, girls? We are breaking 100 hurdle boards in stacks of five non-spaced as fast as possible. Using what techniques? Foot stomp. Foot stomp. So are you guys going to be both working your own, your own rows and your own piles, in other words? Yep. Yes. So in the way that works is they're both running independently on their own stacks. So whoever has done the slowest, the second person done, that will be the team time to accomplish everything for you guys. So we will have people watching that and then whoever's done theirs. That's good. How did you guys get ready for this? Like what kind of training went into it? Did you work on timing and prep together individually? Uh, we mainly did it individually since our schedules didn't fully line up. But we were both a part of Team Wolverine at Cobra Tech window, so we'd practice there. Um, and I did speed with the exact same numbers as well, which helped because it was about the same time and speed. Nice, nice. So that's good. So you're working as a team, but the nature of the event allowed you to train independently and stuff. Did you guys spend any time, you know, getting the mental game prepared for this to, to do it together? I'd practice a bit at home with uh, stacks of five of the five space, or five non-space boards uh, to help me and my parents would cheer me on. Nice. So now I know both of you guys are avid USBA WBA competitors. Amber, you have a lot of competition records. What made you say one day, I want to do a world record? Uh, it was suggested to me by Amber's parents, and I was like, sure, why not? It sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. Um, I did it one year and with my parents, and I only did three with non-space with the kids' boards, and it felt too easy for me because it was only three, so, and I decided I wanted to do more, and I wanted to try it with my best friend. Sounds good. So best of luck to you girls. We'll talk to you a little bit afterwards. I'll let you guys go get prepared and see how you know get ready and we'll see how it goes. So we'll be checking back in soon. Thank you. Congratulations, ladies. 
For everybody watching, these girls just did an awesome job. They set a brand new world record, a junior world record. How are you girls feeling right now? Uh, I was a little nervous, but now I'm okay. I missed a few stacks on the way, but my foot's okay right now. Other than missing a few stacks and my foot hurting a bit, I'm all right. <laughs> so, did that go how you expected it to go? Was it harder, easier with the crowd here? What was kind of your expectations compared to reality? My expectations was it was going to be a little bit easier than I thought, but with the crowd, it made it about as what I thought. My expectations was that I was going to break everything completely the first try. With some stacks, it was the case, but with most of them, it wasn't. I mean, that goes to show for everybody watching, this is not easy stuff. This is, you know, this is real wood, and it is unpredictable. Every stack is different. You probably hit every stack as close to the same as you could, but they're all different. So this isn't easy stuff you guys are doing here. You're now onto adult boards, which is a little bit newer for some of you guys as you're that age, and this is definitely something to be proud of because it's not an easy thing to do with these stacks of five boards. So congratulations, girls. Thank you. Thank you.